My name is Thomas and I'm a psychologist in the army. I joined the army in July 2004. I guess the main reason I joined was I have brothers that are in the military and I watched and heard about their experiences of just, you know, pushing yourself through the limits and making friends and it seemed like an exciting career. When I first considered joining the Defence Force, it was always the army. We look after our greatest asset, which is our people. As a military psychologist, you have to be across organisational psychology, clinical psychology, human performance. So it gives you a really broad foundation to build on your skills as you move through your career. I really enjoy that the military gives us that variety. You might find yourself in the morning giving a presentation on preventative mental health to a large group. Uh, then you might come back to the office, see a client who's, you know, suffering from depression. And then in the afternoon, you might find yourself doing a command referral where the command has raised concerns about an individual, you know, sit down, provide an assessment and recommendations back to their chain of command. One of the unique skills that I've gained as a military psychologist is we live and work alongside our clientele, which is very different to most civilian psychologists, which gives us a lot of advantages because we know exactly what the soldiers are going through because we live and work with them as well. And that's pretty unique to being a military psychologist. The thing I love most about being in the army is just the lifestyle, being able to get paid to exercise, stay fit, the variety of using weapons and firing rifles, and then also being a psychologist. I think if someone's considering a, a job in the military, especially as a psychologist, that they should do it. There's so many opportunities, and even if you're not joining for a lifelong career, it will set you up for success if you transition later on.